While not mandatory, 3D printing can be extremely useful when manufacturing a robot. So what is 3D printing? 3D printing is the process in which you have a computer program or machine called a 3D printer to lay down filament in a certain pattern, and as, as it does this over layers, it creates a final product. As seen from this diagram, you have an extruder, which is part of a 3D printer, lay down the material in this layers. And these layers are done in certain patterns, and over time as it builds up, it will create a final product which is in a 3D format. But what are the FRC applications? Well, first of all, we use this uh, 3D printing technique for certain reasons. It's cheap, meaning that other than the printer, the material and the board on which you print are extremely cheap. So if you wanted to print large quantities of a certain item, it's easy to produce and it costs less than buying it from outside. Second of all, it's durable. ABS and ABS Plus, which are the materials used in printing, are used in our everyday life, such as in cars and other vehicles of transport. And as seen from the strength of these vehicles, it's a material that's very dependable. And third of all, it's easily replaceable, meaning that if you have a part that comes, that comes off or is worn down, you can just swap it in for a new part. That said, some of the parts that are, that are made using 3D printing are mounts, such as motor mounts, which mount motors to a certain object, and camera mounts, which mount cameras to a certain object. Then you have bearing holders, which basically mount bearings to the side of a plate or onto a 2x1 or on surfaces on which there is not thick enough metal or thick enough material for the bearing to stick. Then you can also use it for belt pulleys. While you can't manufacture belts via 3D printing because they're too large, the pulleys on which the belts turn are manufacturable. You can also manufacture gears and non-crucial structural support pieces on the robot in areas on which it doesn't matter as much if you make it out of plastic versus metal. When 3D printing a part, usually the file extension is .stl. When an inventor to convert a file to that extension, you want to go to the top left where it says file and you click that. Then the drop down hover over export and on the right option should appear. Under those, choose the CAD format option. When that appears, you want to choose the STL option under save as type. That's usually the last option on the list. Then choose the place in which you want to save your file. Make sure this place is somewhere you'll check and you won't forget that you're saving this. When you're in that place, name the part something that you'll always remember. In this case, I'm going to leave the name as it is because this is an easily recognizable name. It tells me the, the number of teeth, it tells me the pitch, and it tells me the type. Then you want to make sure that the part is in the correct units of your 3D printer. Usually that's either inch or millimeter. You can change that by clicking this options button down here. I'm going to set it as inch for now. Once you're done with all of that, you can save your document. And from there, you can learn how to set up your 3D printer. After exporting the file, you need to orientate the part in the software that the 3D printing company provides. This goes right in hand with choosing how many parts you want to print. If you were to print more parts, you might need to pack them closer together and change the orientation. Then, once you find out how much material you need based on how many parts you're printing, you want to check your printer to see if you have all the material needed. This includes filler material that goes inside as support. Finally, you can set the printer to start printing as the toolpath itself and think about how many layers it needs. Just sit back, enjoy, and watch the print happen. There are two main types of printers that are seen in FRC, the Prusa printer and the MakerBot. Prusa is more of an entry level 3D printer but produces very good prints. The two SKUs that are av available now are the Mark IIs and the Mark III. The Mark IIs ba base package is $599 and the Mark III base package is $749. The main difference between the two is that the Mark III provides more fail safes, such as if your filament is getting too hot or if it's getting clogged, it will automatically stop. But the Mark IIs still provides a good fun some good functionality and will provide good prints. A more higher end approach would be the MakerBot Replicator Plus. This is $2,500 and has everything the Mark III has, but also has Wi-Fi prints, meaning you can send your prints over Wi-Fi. It has full customer support from MakerBot and uses a custom PLA filament, which is a lot stronger than ABS. Thank you for watching this video on how to 3D print. 
2D printing is extremely useful and many teams rely upon it to manufacture the robot. I hope that from this video you've realized the benefits of 3D printing and want to take it up yourself if you haven't already.